latest variant of the Apache helicopter, the AH-64E version 6, aims to prove its dominance over the skies in an increasingly complex battlefield with its latest innovation, the MUM-T, or manned-unmanned teaming capability. And it appears to have achieved its purpose. The Boeing Apache, already equipped with a 30mm M230 chain gun, Hellfire missiles, Hydra 70 rocket pods, night vision, and state of the art target acquisition system has turned into the ultimate predator thanks to Mum T, a groundbreaking system that allows a single helicopter to control swarms of drones to track, hunt down, and terminate its targets without the support of additional pilots. With Mum T, a crew of just two men can coordinate dozens of unmanned aerial vehicles to gather intelligence, attack an enemy position from different fronts, destroy fighters on the move, or support special forces during classified operations with perfect order and coordination. If the system is properly used, one single Apache crew can make the enemy believe that it's being attacked by an entire army, after witnessing the countless drones dropping ordnance and cutting off the escape route with devastating firepower. What's more, once the attack is over, the Apache will show up to finish the job. It appears as though the ultimate goal of making the Apache a self-contained attack drone strike force has come full circle with Mum T, but according to the Army, the program is just getting started. The Warrior of the Skies The AH-64 Apache is an American twin turboshaft combat helicopter with tailwheel-type landing gear and a tandem cockpit arrangement for two men. Developed by Boeing, it features several technological innovations that have made it the most advanced helicopter of recent times. Its nose-mounted sensor suite for target acquisition and night vision systems for stealth operations give it a significant edge over its enemies when the lights go out. The Apache's main armament is quite intimidating. It's equipped with a 30mm M230 chain gun located between the main landing gear under the fuselage and with a devastating rate of fire of more than 300 rounds per minute. It can also fire different types of rounds, including high explosive dual purpose and incendiary shells. Muzzle velocity is over 2,600 yards per second, and its maximum firing range is estimated at 4,000 yards. In other words, the Apache helicopter can strike its targets before they even know what hit them. Its secondary armament is made up of different ordnance attached to the four various hardpoints that the subwing pylons provide. This armament typically ranges from AGM-114 Hellfire missiles to Hydra-70 rocket pods. Also, the helicopter has a length of 58 feet, a height of 12 feet, and a maximum takeoff weight of 23,000 pounds, and it can achieve astonishing speeds without compromising maneuverability, stability, and performance. Thanks to its standard power plant of two General Electric T700 GE701 turboshaft engines, the Apache can also achieve a maximum speed of 180 miles per hour and a service ceiling of around 20,000 feet, with an average combat range of 300 miles. The Apache had humble beginnings and began development under the nickname Model 77 as part of the U.S. Army's Advanced Attack Helicopter Program to replace the Bell's AH-1 Cobra, which was extensively used during the Vietnam War. Its prototype flew for the first time in 1975 and was approved for full production in 1976. It was officially introduced to the Army in 1986 and has remained in service to this day. After seeing combat during Operation Desert Storm, Bosnia, and Kosovo during the 1990s, the Apache gained enough combat experience to justify several upgrades to keep it up to date for years to come. Since then, the Apache has received numerous variants that have been sold to allied countries such as Egypt, Greece, India, Japan, Israel, South Korea, the United Kingdom, and others. The Apache AH-64E V6 In January of 2021, the Army received the most advanced version of the world's most lethal helicopter, the Apache AH-64E version 6. 
It was delivered to the 129th Attack Reconnaissance Battalion, based at Joint Base Lewis McCord in Washington State, making it the first operational unit to receive it. Kathleen Jolivet, Vice President of the Attack Helicopter Program, said, quote, Boeing's commitment to customer-centric iterative innovation has enabled each evolution of the Apache, from the AH-64A to today's AH-64E V-6, to deliver advanced attack helicopter capabilities that are operationally proven, mature, low-risk, and affordable. The AH-64E model can carry more ammunition and fuel than previous variants, including up to 70 2.75mm rockets, 16 Hellfire missiles, and over 1,200 rounds for its chain gun. It is also 20 knots faster and more maneuverable than its predecessors. The E model also carries the longbow radar and has improved targeting and sensing systems to acquire more targets during combat operations. Meanwhile, the modernized day sensor assembly allows pilots to see a greater range in color, and the fire control radar provides maritime mode capabilities. Moreover, the E-Model has an improved modernized target acquisition designation site pilot night vision system that integrates an infrared laser for more accessible target designation. During an interview with Scout Warrior, Apache program manager Colonel Jeff Hager said, quote, one of the biggest values of the E-Model itself is the increased performance that we put back into the airframes, specifically for the composite rotor blades. We increase the power of the engines and improve the transmission. That gives the aircraft an A-Model-like performance that we haven't seen in years. The aircraft is faster and more lethal. Other than its armament and engine upgrades, the Apache E-Model has also been modified to operate at altitudes of over 6,000 feet, or under conditions where temperatures can exceed 95 degrees. According to Colonel Hager, the Army plans to have over 690 AH-64Es in service by 2025. Manned Unmanned Testing Despite its many new features, the most significant innovation of the Apache AH-64E is its MUN-T, or manned-unmanned teaming ability. The United States Army Aviation Center of Excellence has defined MUN-T as, quote, the synchronized employment of soldier, manned and unmanned air and ground vehicles, robotics, and sensors to achieve enhanced situational understanding, greater lethality, and improved survivability a standardized systems and communications protocol that enables live and still images gained from the sensors payloads of unmanned aerial systems to be shared across a force. This confirms that the latest version of the Apache cannot just gain intelligence about the enemy from nearby drones, but can also control the sensor payload and flight path of devices such as the Army Shadow and Grey Eagle. The quest to develop the ultimate self-contained attack team that doesn't rely on outside coordination or other pilots appears to have come full circle with mun -T, as Apache crews can now control drones for joint strike operations without the involvement of more human crews. With both manned and unmanned assets working together to achieve a single goal, a commander or an Apache crew can gain vital battlefield information faster than ever to destroy the enemy with a swift attack. Major Corey Wallace, the Army's robotic combat vehicle lead from the Next Generation Combat Vehicles cross-functional team, said that, quote, If soldiers want to deploy electronic warfare, for example, they have to work through several different tiers of command to get down to the point of need. With manned-unmanned teaming, you can do that seamlessly because the systems are co-located. One example is that Apache crews can now hunt down enemy warfighters on the move without the risk of getting shot down by missiles. Also, the crewmen can now bring up the drone feeds to look through their sensors and visualize their targets from over 50 or 60 miles away. Moreover, while approaching the enemy, the Apaches can send the lethal Grey Eagle of Army Shadow drones to strike the most dangerous targets before engaging the rest of their objectives. This increased level of situational awareness and coordination makes the Apache AH-64E more lethal than ever, as it can now control an army of friendly drones to disorient the enemy and deal with more significant threats without compromising the safety of its crews. The $24 million contract awarded to Boeing for the Apache's manned-unmanned teaming capabilities will keep improving to allow the Apache and its drones to go after dynamic targets from further distances. But for the time being, 
The 1-229th Attack Reconnaissance Battalion at Joint Base lewis McCord will continue testing the new technology to get more data that can be used to bolster the effectiveness of the Apache, the drones, and the tactical coordination with ground units. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe to our Dark Documentaries channels to find more exciting historical content. And let us know in the comments below what you think of the unique capabilities of Mum-T, Apaches, and drones for future warfare operations. Stay tuned.